in the house. Mercy, Bo, very much. Thank you. Now, have you ever, have you ever wondered whether uh, the stunt you see in the movies are possible in real life? Yes. Have you wondered that? Not possible. No way. Uh, well, uh, my next guest has taken steps to find out. Please welcome Open University scientist Dr. Jonathan Hare in a... There he is. Hello, Good Jonathan. Morning. Good morning. Welcome. And it's a new item that we're calling... Mad Lab! Thank you very much. OK, Jonathan. So this is, this is what, it's exactly what we said there. You're going to re you recreate stunts to see if they're feasible. Yeah. Some of the biggest stunts from some of the biggest films of all time. Oh, everyone. Yeah. Oh. And we're going to recreate some of them here, now, live. Yeah. 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 OK, so, Jonathan, uh, first of all, what made you look at these stunts? What was the purpose of it? Well, I mean, it's a bit of fun, really. We're taking classic movies, but we want to look at the science in a little bit of detail to see if it's at all possible. I mean, have you ever watched a movie and ever thought, can they really do that? Well, many yeah. times. <laughs> many, and many times are completely <laughs> ludicrous. <laughs> so this is... Do you remember that bungee jump at the start of Goldeneye? Oh, yeah. Because that's just crack isn't it? <laughs> yeah. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, go on. OK. Well, this is a six-part... Open University programme with me and Robert Llewellyn, and we're looking at these stunts and trying to work out the physics to see if it's you know really possible or not. Okay, so excellent. Got some Thank you very much. So it's, it's, you're paid to look at films and, and assess the stunts. That's it. And it's part of a course, is it, for Open University? No, what is it? It's just for the uh, the learning zone. It's going out early in the morning. Starts next Friday. Oh well, I'll be there. This Friday. Thank you. Okay, well let's go to our first film. We're going to see the film and then uh, see whether or not the stunt is feasible. This isn't so much a stunt as an effect, but it's a, a classic Jackie Chan film. Everyone. Oh, yeah. yeah. Here's a, here's a key moment from Shanghai Noon. Twist it. Hey, help. Okay, yeah, get it. Get it. There you go. Uh, oh, yeah. You're strong as an ox. Go. Come on, you can do it. There, you got it. Forget me. Okay. He can't do that. It's ridiculous. Jonathan, tell us, tell us... Jackie Chan reckons that when cloth's wet, it's stronger. When cloth is wet, it's stronger. See, I don't think that's quite feasible. So he took it? off his jacket, yeah. weed on it, because yes. he didn't have any other liquid. OK. And then he got to the bars. Should we have a look at the bars? Yeah, here we go. Here's our bars, everyone. These are solid steel, OK? And in the Hollywood Science, our, our TV series, yes. we actually got some cloth and we got a dry one and a wet one. We measured which one was the strongest. And the wet one is stronger. OK. So, so these he are was solid... right. He was right. It yeah. does right. Let's have a look. Uh, I'll show you what I mean. Are these are the, uh, these... So this is the cloth, which is being wettened, and it actually bends the bars, OK? <laughs> These are solid bars, they're not hollow. Is, okay. is, is that we on there? <laughs> no, it's not we. Okay, okay. then. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. So there we are. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is a, an effect proved. That worked. Yeah. So, that, so, well done, Jackie Chan. Um, th these are the sort of bars we would use in the film. Are they, though, Jonathan, real prison mm. bars? Yeah. Are they? Yeah. So you could theoretically break out of prison cell. Yeah, I mean, in the, in the film, he had a, uh, something holding the bars above and below. You could do it, but if you had a bar in the middle, it'd be very, very then difficult. Very going across. Yeah, but they, they didn't have that in the film. That, that's a classic scene where you think, what a load of nonsense. And actually, factually, he's on the money. He reckoned that people actually escaped from prison that way. Okay. In China. Yep. Thank you very much. Okay, let's go on to our second film. It's Dante's Peak. Right. Uh, and uh, here, classic it's film. a classic film. Here's, I think they're running away from a volcano, aren't they? Here we go. Uh, here's the clip. Have a look at this. Graham, don't touch the water. Come on, come sit over here, sweetie. That's it, sweetheart. Hey, everybody, put your feet up. Ruth, put your feet up, please. Volcanic activity has turned the lake to acid. Acid eats metal. Thank you very much. Okay, Jonathan, explain what was happening in the clip. Okay, so the volcano has turned this acid lake really acidic and it's very hot. Yeah. And what we looked at to see is whether the aluminium boat that they were using to escape across the lake would actually dissolve. Go across an acidic lake. Yeah, okay. <laughs> they had to do All the roads were blocked. Okay. okay. So what we did. <laughs> Obviously, the roads are blocked. What do you do? You go yeah, across an acidic lake. There was lake. a boat, so they jumped <laughs> in it. And we did an experiment. You had to see the, the programme, Hollywood Science, but you actually see you can actually dissolve aluminium. OK. okay. So we can't... Do, here's, here's a little aluminium boat. Well, in, in the programme, we made an acid lake out of this bowl and we had a little aluminium boat floating in it. Yeah. And we ended up and showing is, is that... Is this Piers Brosnan in this film? Is it, yeah, Piers Brosnan. So imagine yeah. he's in here. He's going yeah. across. But he would... His outboard motor all falls apart because of yeah. the acid and then his, his boat starts to dissolve. And he would have dissolved with it, of course. Probably would because uh, yeah, all the mixture of acids and it's really hot. Yeah. OK. Might have. All right, so that's a Especially no, no, really. If, you know, all the rivets and stuff would have dissolved away. OK, thank yeah. you very much. OK, <laughs> so basically Dante's Peak got it wrong, everyone. No, no, that was right, probably. Yeah, because it dissolves in the film. That one was probably Oh, sorry, right. it dissolves in the film? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Oh. So I've not, not seen that one. I was assuming... So Piers Brosnan dissolves in a lake? 
<laughs> where he gets away, but his bait yeah. dissolves. Right, yeah. OK, thank you very much. Let's go to our next film. Oh, it's a classic. Cool Hand Luke, everyone! Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and uh, here we are. This is uh, an egg-eating famous scene. Have a look at this. Number four. So, uh, so there we go. So there's it. Tell, tell 80 seconds. Remind us what that clip is. OK, so Paul Newman bets that he can eat 50 boiled eggs in an hour. OK. And we 50 thought, boiled eggs! Oh, can you do that? You, I don't think you can, but we made a stomach. I mean, not only have you got the problem of actually eating 50 boiled eggs, but we made a stomach out of, bag, of this bag, filled it with stomach acids. So this represents the human stomach? Yeah. That's Paul Newman's stomach, then? Yeah. OK, thank you. Yeah, and uh, we measured the volume of 50 eggs, and it's just possible that some people have got a stomach that's big enough. Right? OK. Is that the right size? But, is that yeah. the actual to scale size of Paul Newman's stomach? The stomach is about two litres. It's a bit more than that. OK. But in principle, you know, some big people could probably eat that. Could right? Paul Newman but have eaten 50 eggs? If he could have eaten it, I don't think... Think he would have passed from his stomach into his testing, so he'd have been clogged up completely. Okay. So it, it probably would have killed him. And right. It, it severely constipated him. Oh. You wouldn't have wanted to be in the prison with him okay. under oh. his bunker okay, anyway, the next day. Don't try that at home. But basically, that, uh, that is factually inaccurate. Call cool hand Luke there. Would have done, yes. Black Mark. Very Ill. Yeah. Thank you very much. Let's go to our next film. Oh, it's the John Mills classic now. It's Ice Cold in Alex. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and here we go with. The, oh, it's the car scene. I know. Okay. Here's a clip. Oh, it's got to be an accurate course. <laughs> yeah. Let's do this. I want no, to do, we listen, without time on us, I want to yeah. do this quickly. I want to go on to the speed stunt oh, note yeah. to Mike, the editor. Oh, yes. But go on. So, <laughs> OK, us. basically, they've got to get up this uh, ramp. The engine's overheating, so they turn the engine off, take the spark plugs out, and we've got a little model here, but in, the, in our programme we actually used a Morris Minor. Right, OK. But actually, you can, with using the crankshaft on the old cars, you, you can could actually... You could take it apart and do that. You could crank it up a hill, Thank and you that works. Ice cold in Actually, yeah. you're wrong, Linton. Yeah. It was right. Finally, I'm going to go to speed and have okay. a look at a very famous scene. Have a look at this. Yes. Oh, yeah. OK, the bus has got to jump 50 foot. Yes. If it doesn't make it, it will explode. The okay. question is, can it do it? OK, ladies and gentlemen, here is our reconstruction. Have yes. a look at this! The important yeah. thing, the important yeah. thing is it's got to jump at an angle. It's got to go off now, the Now, now, into scale, 50 feet is about here, isn't it? Yeah. So it's got to get to here. It's got to get to there. But in the film, it doesn't do it because it doesn't have this incline. So, right, let's, let me just say something to viewers. Mm -hmm. In the film, the incline, the incline is wrong, and you've proved that that stunt is inaccurate. They if a bus have done takes it. off at 45 degrees, it can easily They would have all... Sandra Bullock, Keanu, they'd have all gone. They would have gone... No, if they'd done that, but in the film, it doesn't look like they get that angle. OK. It looks like there's so no angle at they'd all. They'd have all died. OK. Yeah, so we, we, used, we made this in the film to test this. However, so this is an increased angle, so we can... This is 50 foot this here, folks. Let's apart. have a drum roll. Hang on. Hang on. Drum roll. It's got to get past my hands. Whenever you're ready, Jonathan, here we go. Tell me when. Go. Go. Three. Yeah. <laughs> it didn't miss. It didn't miss. Sandra Bullock has died. They would have died in the film. Uh, they would have died in the film, so there you go. Thank you very much, Jonathan Hat. Oh, Thank you. Okay, listen, uh, coming up after the break, we're going to have a feature called Don't Fancy Yours, where we look at people who aren't very attractive. Uh, that's good. Meanwhile, this is Channel 4. You're watching The Big Breakfast, and we'll be right back. Hooray!